When we first meet Clara in the sick bay of the airship during the Unlucky Cloverfield chapter, she is introduced to us as the Frightened Princess. Why is Clara so frightened? Could it be because Hoffman is a sexual molester of orphans, and in particular because of his behavior towards Clara? that Clara is frightened? Is there any evidence to support an accusation like this? I think so. One way that the game developers signal to us that their relationship between Clara and Hoffman is very important is by never giving us a scene with Clara that isn't also associated with the presence of Hoffman. In the Unlucky Cloverfield chapter, Clara and Hoffman are alone together in the sick bay before Jennifer enters. In the funeral chapter, Clara is alone in the sick bay when Jennifer enters. But before Jennifer leaves, Hoffman has Clara join him in the sick room where they are alone together. while Jennifer watches them through a keyhole. In the Mermaid Princess chapter, we see Hoffman and Clara walking alone together in a hallway. Then, later in the Mermaid Princess chapter, just before entering the room in which the infamous mermaid boss battle occurs, we see Hoffman sitting on a bed, apparently stroking with his left hand somebody in the bed that we cannot see. When we enter the room, Hoffman is gone and we can see that the person in the bed is Clara. When we subsequently see Clara hoisted up into the air by the rope, we can also see that underneath the rope, which encircles and covers the lower part of her body, Clara appears to be naked. I think that the player is supposed to piece together from all this an observation that is hinted by the game developers, that naked Clara was being funneled by Hoffman as she lays in bed. I don't think, however, that we are supposed to assume that the memory on which Jennifer based this scene was a memory of Hoffman fondling Clara while she was literally bound with rope. It may be that the rope symbolizes that Clara can escape from her predicament, or has some other significance. Let us focus more on the imagery of Clara being a mermaid by looking at the Sinner Chronos Rula Rose game script, which can be found on GameFAQs. For the description of the mermaid boss, he writes, The pulleys spin and lift the figure out from the bed. It's the mermaid who particularly has feet protruding from her fin. If we examine this picture, Clara only superficially resembles a mermaid. She has no fin. The illusion of a fin comes from the way that the rope circles the lower portion of her body, her feet protrude out from the rope. This can also be seen in the cutscene you get after defeating the mermaid boss. Back to the funeral chapter of Rula Rose. In order to find Clara in the sick bay, you must go to the sick bay after Jennifer talks to Hoffman in the headmaster's room. 
and before it transitions into night when the imps attack Jennifer. When Jennifer attempts to leave the sick bay after she has tried in vain to talk with Clara, a cutscene is triggered, in which Hoffman opens the door connecting the sick room to the sick bay. Hoffman calls Clara's name, and then Clara joins him in the sick room. After this, Jennifer can spy on them by looking through the keyhole. I'm going to play the cutscene without talking about it for you guys first. Look, there's some dust over here. Give it a wipe. Now, once again, it seems that the game developers are trying to imply and signal something to the player if you look at the cutscene from a different perspective. The cutscene shows Clara is merely scrubbing the floor, but if you look deeper into the context of the scene, it sort of looks like Clara is giving fellatio to Hoffman. To me, it seems that the illusion is deliberately designed into the game by the developers. The way that Clara hangs her head as if in shame when Jennifer tries to talk with her, and the very reluctant way that Clara goes to Hoffman, turning her head away from him, is completely consistent with the idea that she is submitting reluctantly and ashamedly to Hoffman's sexual demands. I think that we are supposed to figure out, as one of the puzzles hidden in the game, that Hoffman's molestation of Clara was real and that the reason that we don't actually see the molestation more explicitly is because Jennifer is still repressing those parts of her memory. The memories that she had once lost entirely are now starting to resurface, but she still represses or alters the worst portions of those memories. In this respect, what her mind is doing is similar to what happens later when her memories of the orphanage massacre surface. She doesn't see any of the dead bodies of the orphans. All she sees are empty clothes on the ground where the bodies would be. She represses the memories of seeing those bodies. This can also be seen in my previous video of the sickbay drawer and how she cries out a no when we try to look at it. Putting these two repressions together, we can conclude that she also repressed the memory of having seen child molestation as she spied through a keyhole at the orphanage during her forgotten past. 